Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rikia's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make tasty chips masala restaurant style. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need one tablespoon of ginger garlic pastes, a quarter cup of tomato ketchup, some salt to taste, crushed green chilies about one teaspoon, one teaspoon of curry powder, a half a lime, green bell paper, one slice of onion, one tablespoon of tomato pastes, a half a teaspoon of black paper, some chili flakes, and lastly, some fries. I've already fried my fries as you can see in the video, then it's high time to make our spicy chips masala. On a medium large pot, start by adding 2 tablespoons of oil and let the oil to heat up. Once the oil is hot, add 1 slice of onion and cook the onion till soft. Once the onions are soft, add green bell paper and give a quick mix. Followed by 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and 1 teaspoon of crushed green chilies and continue mixing. Then you're going to add 1 tablespoon of tomato paste and give a quick mix, then pour a bit of water and mix everything well. Then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt or you can add more, that's up to you. Then add a half a teaspoon of black paper, one teaspoon of curry powder and some chili flakes and mix everything well. Add a quarter cup of tomato ketchup and give a quick mix. Then squeeze a half a lime to add an extra amazing taste to the chips masala and continue mixing and let the stew to cook till thick. Once the sauce is well cooked and thick like this, then your sauce is ready and turn off the heat. Lastly, add the fried fries and mix them very well and make sure they're beautiful coated with the sauce. And our spicy chips masala are beautiful coated with the sauce as you can see in the video and enjoy your chips masala. Lastly, I'm going to garnish my chips masala with some dried petersilly, optional if you don't like or if you don't have. And our chips masala are ready. Serve along with some chicken or sausage or anything that you like and enjoy your chips masala. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. Or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rukia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.